Hey, what's up? It's Josh from the Dialed In Hunter. Tomorrow is opening day of archery deer and archery javelina down here in Arizona. So I was kind of getting my stuff ready. I'm going to go out and make a day trip tomorrow. I have a javelina tag. Super excited to get out there. It's been a long wait for January. Um, but as I was putting my stuff together, I figured maybe I'd show you guys how I'm putting all this in this new pack I just got. This is the this is the Exo Mountain Gear 1800. It's their day pack that they just released. Um, and I just figured that I could show you what I'm bringing with me for the day and where I'm putting it in the backpack uh, for the day. So uh, just real quick on the backpack, we'll just do a quick overview on it. This doesn't come with a lid, okay? This is the lid from my 4800, all right? It normally comes just like that, no lid, all right? But EXO does have these straps that you can attach to these loops that are on the side of the pack that will enable you to take the lid from your 4800 or whatever other pack you have with a lid, uh, EXO pack, and attach it to the day pack. So totally up to you. I really like having a lid, so I opted to do that. Um, and it turns out pretty slick so quick layout of the backpack it you've got there's no stretchy pouch on the front all right so that's gone it's just one entrance point right here into the main pack and that's that you've got a little pouch here uh maybe put your cell phone something like that it's a little waterproof guy and then uh, you're basically looking at your water bladder. I already have my water bladder in here right now. So it's a three liter platypus. All right, so that's that's the main compartment there. And then you got two side pouches on this thing. Um, one of them's bigger than the other. One of them actually goes all the way down. It's this one right here um, on my right. So this is where uh, you could put like, you know, the spotting scope or whatever like that in there, side pouch there. There's another one over here. And this one only goes down to about the uh, start of the side stretchy pouch right here. All right. Let's see. And then just like the other K3 packs, you've got the zipper right here on the top for uh, your water bladder to slip down into the water bladder sleeve. So that's that, that's the pack. Uh, for those of you that don't know, that aren't familiar with this, this frame is the frame from my 4800 pack. So kind of cool about all these backpacks, you can get the one K3 spider frame and you can get whatever pack you want to go on that frame. You get, you, I've got the day pack here, I have a 4800 in a closet behind me. You could get this, the, the bigger pack and put that on there if you're going to Alaska or something like that. So it's all interchangeable, so uh, really functional, pretty cool. So, um, all right, so let's, let's get into it. I'm just gonna kinda go down the line here and go kinda lid, uh, main pouch, and then side pouches and, and the hip, hip belt pouch right there. So, so let's start with the lid. Um, the reason I really like having a lid is because that's just kind of where I keep my food. <laughs> it's really easy access. So on this new lid, on these packs, there's actually two zippers now. There's two compartments. There used to only be one. So you got the big one here and then there's a smaller one. So in the bigger one, I like to put, um, I've, got, I've got a spoon here uh, that I like to stir my coffee with. Um, throw that in there. This is a little uh, dark energy plasma lighter and it's a flashlight as well just in case I want to start a fire out there. Um, Luco tape just in case I need that for my feet and then and then I just put the food in on top of all that. So let's get that set, zip that up and then in the, the little the little pouch right up here I like to put um, a spare set of triple A's. This is for my headlamp. Um, and then that goes in there. And then on top of that, we'll go my inReach, my Garmin inReach Explorer. Got to have that with me. Stay in touch with home while I'm gone. Get that in there better. There we go. 
All right, so that that's the lid. That's all everything I'm putting in my lid. Uh, main pouch. We've got we've got some toilet paper, Purell, and then I also bring this black trash bag with me. This is just a contractor bag. I really like this for when you get something down on the ground. Um, it's really nice to lay out, keep some meat clean, and I can, if especially if I'm deboning something, um, I can just kind of lay the parts out on this on this bag, and uh, it's not going to get all dirty. So just kind of shove this down in the bottom of the main pouch, and then uh, I, if you guys watch any of my stuff, you know I'm a coffee lover, so I just I, I always bring a stove with me. Just so I can make some coffee out there. Shove that down there. And then in this, on this little waterproof guy here, um, I'm actually just gonna throw my tag in there. Figure that's a good spot for that. Put that in there. I usually keep my cell phone on me um, just for like taking quick pictures and stuff like that. So that's where I'll keep my tag. And then let's jump into the water pouch real quick I um that's where I keep my kill kit and game bags I'm just bringing two Argali hike uh Argali game bags with me um one is more than enough for a javelina but just in case I want to like bring the skull home and not get my pack dirty I put the skull in another one so just kind of shove that down down in there and then here's my kill kit it is I'll open it up for you guys, let you see what's in here. Got the Argali carbon knife here. Super slick knife. Got a little work sharp uh, sharpener. And then some flagging tape and some just some paracord. And that's that's my kill kit right there. Shove all that back in there. Put that up. And I keep all this in that water bladder sleeve and it it'll go it'll all fit down beneath the uh, the water bladder so I just kind of like shove it down I, I usually put it in there first before the water bladder but for the video just so I can show you guys um, so that's that close that guy up close up the main compartment here now we've got the side pouches. So, like I said, this this one over here is the longer one. Uh, it goes the length of the pack all the way down to the bottom. So in the bottom, I'm gonna shove just a little medic uh, first aid kit down in there, all the way in the bottom. And then I'm gonna bring my Vortex uh, spotting scope. This is a 65 millimeter razor, super rad spotting scope. I'm gonna shove that. Uh, way down in here and then that is the side pouch that's what's going in the side pouch right there that side's done the next side we're gonna put let's see here this is just uh, this is an accessories pouch you can get from Exo Mountain Gear um, in my 4800 it has clips on the inside where I just kind of clip this on and it stays there this pack uh, doesn't have that. At least I haven't found one yet. Maybe there's one that's hidden, um, but I haven't found it. So this is just kind of a little, like some survival stuff, you know, just your basic fire starter and everything like that. Keep that in that side pouch there. Uh, extra release, I am bow hunting. So I always kind of, I always like to carry an extra release with me. I One time I, uh, I remember falling on my release out in the field on a hunt. And I got a rock on the inside of it, and then my release was jammed, and I ended up punching myself in the face when I went to go draw my bow back. So ever since that occasion, I always carry a spare release with me. Goes in there. Zip that up. All right, so that's the two side pouches. Um, get this lid all put together here. That. Okay, you guys. Uh, 
All right. So on the sides of the backpack, um, I normally run, my tripod is right there with my camera on it. So the tripod I have is a Slick Pro 3. Um, I'm sure you guys, if, if, if you can watch some other videos I've done, you can see the tripod. Um, the head that's on there is a brand new head I just got. I really like it. It's a Saray VA5 thing is awesome. I'm probably going to do a review on it in the future, but that tripod is going to go right here. Just like I've, I always run it on any other of my exo packs. It's going to go right here. The two, uh, two feet are going to fit in here. One of them on the outside and then these side compression straps are just gonna cinch that down and keep that nice and snug. All right. And then on the other side, um, I always bring trekking poles with me. I'm not hunting with these. Like I'm not walking around with my bow with the trekking poles or anything like that. I just keep it with me just in case we get something down on the ground. It's also deer season. Havelina aren't that heavy, but I'll be out there with some friends and stuff. So, um, in case we get something down, this these always are lifesavers on pack outs and stuff. So these are going to go right down in this side pouch here. And I'm going to use the side compression straps to keep those nice and snug. Good there. And then now all we've got is the hip, the hip pouch right there. And then we're ready to go hunting. So there's that. Hip pouch. I like, I am going to be um, filming this quite a bit probably. And I, I always, I'm always taking pictures and stuff. So I like to bring uh, extra battery for my camera. The camera is a Sony a7R2. Um, the batteries don't last super long, so I try to keep some more batteries with me, especially for filming. Photography is not that big of a deal, but filming, you don't get that much uh, battery life out of those things, so gotta have extra batteries. And then an extra SD card, throw that in there. Allen key for um, just in case anything on my bow uh, comes loose or anything like that, I need to fix something um, on the tripod or um, on the, uh, with the camera uh, taking the plate off or anything like that. This is this is handy for that. And then my headlamp is a black diamond. I think it's a spot. <laughs> I always forget there's so many of them. Uh, really killer headlamp. I love this thing. Uh, it's got one button and it does a billion things. So there is a little bit of a learning curve to it to like remembering what combination of button holds and clicks that uh, gets you to any certain point, but really nice, really nice headlamp. So that's going to go in there. Zip that up and that's it. Ready to go hunting. Something else to note. Um, other things I'll have on me is obviously I'm going to be wearing, I'll have my uh, uh, binoculars on my chest, FHF vinyl, vinyl pouch. Uh, I got 10 by 42 razors in there. Uh, with a Vortex uh, Ranger 1000 rangefinder. That's my kind of on-person optic setup. And then, um, like I said, I was going to be filming, doing a bit, uh, some filming with this. So I'm also going to have a GoPro head mount with a Hero 5 that I'll wear on my head for stalking into Avelina. And I'll also have a Tacticam 5.0 camera uh, mounted on the stabilizer of my bow uh, to hopefully get help with getting uh, shots on camera. So that's uh, that's going to be some other stuff that'll have on me. Exo Mountain Gear 1800 Day Pack. Uh, check it out. I think it's pretty awesome. I'm pretty stoked on it. So I'm excited to run it on. Uh, probably do quite a bit of trip scouting with it, and then whenever I'm doing like a day hunt, like I am tomorrow. Um, comes in real handy. So thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And uh, until we talk next time, good luck out there and be safe.